All right, guys, back on this 22R um, that would not start. I already rebuilt it. Um, comments I got were, I've got to be a tooth off. That's why it's backfiring. That's why I won't start. Took it apart. Um, you know, so I'm doing this for the second time. I did it the exact same way I did before. As you can see, the keyway directly straight up and down. Um, the two shiny links right off of that. Um, everything that I have read or, or seen online or, you know, people's how-to guides. This straight up and down, that slightly to the passenger side. Uh, and just to show you, loose, loose. So I know that those are at top dead center. I don't think that this will pick it up, but I have looked down in in there with the light, and I do know that that top cylinder is at top dead center. Um, moving down, um, keyway straight up, looking underneath. And there's the dot, straight down, shiny link, smack dab in the middle. Um, so for all practical purposes, and everything I read says that this should be the tight side, and this should be the side with some, um, it, it should be loose. Now a question I would have, well, it's this. If you pull the tensioner back, then this this side becomes loose. But with the tensioner, uh, there is no loose side really. They're both, I would say, equally tight. I don't know. If that is the uh, issue. And to be honest with you, this I know should be the tighter side, but with this tensioner, I do know that this side is now the tighter side. What I'm gonna do, but I can't do it until I put this back on, because uh, I don't want this to fall off, is people say to, to turn this gear or rotate the bottom to put the load on this side. But um, I've tried doing that. And without everything else put back together, it does not stay. It just kind of rolls back to that level. So, I don't know. Everything I read says this sh side should be the tighter side and this looser. And that would be my only question. I mean, other than that, I've got the, the links where they should be, marks where they should be. It's top dead center on compression stroke. <clears throat> I'm just filming this more for myself so that I can say, no, it is done. It is done correct. So I'm going to put it more together. And then when I put in the uh, um, the distributor, I will show you how that is set too without moving any of this. All right, guys, got the front of this back together. You can see that, that pin. Um, Top dead center, that pin mark uh, under the chain, slightly to the passenger, just as it should be. Um, those are the two bright links. You can't tell probably because of the light. Um, but they are uh, moving down. Top dead center. Moving over to the distributor. I put it in at 12, rotated it. Pointed to the number one, and these two front cams loose, so not pressure, not putting pressure on the on those valves. Um, as far as I can tell, guys, it's everything is as it should, and I am sure that that's how I had it prior, and 
the damn thing still wouldn't start. So we are going to try it. I'm on a little bit of a hold because I bought a rebuild kit for the uh, the Weber carb. So I can't really try this till I get the Weber. I don't expect any different results, though I hope for different results. We'll see.